his freshman season and sophomore season right there on the screen. UTA coming in 6-4 and four for the year, but they have not won on the road where they are 0-3, and, and we are ready to get this one underway. Warren Washington controlled the tip, but Makai Williams stole it away from the Red Raiders. And the Mavericks will start on offense to get this one going. Here's Russell Long, three on the way, off the back iron. And Warren Washington comes away with the ball for the Red Raiders. Grant McCaslin's team has had some of that illness that a lot of folks are dealing with running through the squad. But the big man, Washington, inside to Darion Williams, and the Red Raiders are on the board. Yeah, and you know, you, you're dealing with so many distractions this time of year. That's the, the tricky part of these games right before the holidays. A coach's nightmare sometimes. Dejuan Gordon from outside that three-point line. The former Kansas State Wildcat puts UTA on top. Who has played in this building multiple times. Grant McCaslin says about this uh, Maverick team, very aggressive. Even when guys come off the bench, they are looking to score, looking to be aggressive. Pop Isaacs thought about it, drives inside, lays it up and in good. Pop thought he was fouled, but he'll take the bucket and the Red Raiders by one. UTA testing Texas Tech's transition defense right there. That secondary break, they get the ball up the floor in a hurry. These are the starting five for the Mavericks. Is that shot from Russell short, but picked up underneath by Gordon. UTA back on top. Red Raiders today with familiar faces. Pop Isaacs, Toussaint, Kerwin Walton in there again on a hot streak. Williams and Warren Washington. There's Washington inside. Williams, great pass. And the seven-footer delivers. Is, is shooting 62% from behind the arc. Uh, does that qualify as hot? <laughs> I, I would say so. Red hot. Yeah. Grant McCaslin got a Christmas present early there with uh, the emergence of Kerwin Walton, at least he has at this point. Kerwin Walton in the last five games, or last three games for the Red Raiders, has 51 points. Chance McMillan off the bench for Grant McCaslin. KT Turner in his first season. With the Mavericks, a former athlete there at UTA, really does like the Metroplex area for recruiting, Chris. Yeah, and I think he felt like this was the, the perfect fit for him. Spent some time there as a player, uh, likes the proximity to players, and he's a lifer. I mean, I think, you know, we talked to each head coach about the other, and boy, they, there's a lot of, uh, lot of respect between the two. The, these guys have scrapped and clawed for everything that they've uh, gotten and where they're at right now. But, uh, yeah, KT Turner. Was he worked for four or five Final Four coaches? He really worked for some outstanding people. He and Grant McCaslin have known each other since both were in the junior college ranks. Yeah, Midland and Redlands yeah. junior colleges uh, in Oklahoma. Grant won a national championship with Midland. Darian Williams trying to save that ball. Does inbound to Caroma of the Mavericks. He threw it away, and now here comes Toussaint. Darian Williams is behind. He's behind the seats, off the court, can't get back on as the Red Raiders score. Yeah, Darian Williams ends up uh, near us, and he's, he's kind of can't get on the floor. A bit of a garage sale, as they say, things went flying <laughs> everywhere. Looks like a ski accident on the mountain, uh, but uh, he's up and back up the floor. But, yeah, that was a four-on-five break there for Joe Toussaint. We're talking about KT Turner, his father, a longtime college basketball coach, says he learned the basketball game from him and Dana Altman when his dad was at Kansas State. Has also been at Kentucky, Oklahoma, Texas, SMU, Wichita State. When that team made the Final Four, Pop Isaac's long-range shot not there, and Wilson ran it down. Still talks to, I think you mentioned this, still talks to Larry Brown multiple times a week. Pop Isaacs just took that one away from Russell and McMillan on the other end for the Red Raiders off the turnover. Scoring again, they've doubled up UTA. And that's one of the differences with Isaacs right there. He gets the steal and then he gets the ball up the floor, facilitates with an assist right there to a teammate. Really good defense and that leads to some easy offense. 
Kai Williams got hung up inside. But Joe Toussaint almost took it away again in the corner. Williams shot not there. Darion Williams the rebound and the Red Raiders are on the offensive end very quickly. Toussaint going to try to drive inside. Left it for Robert Jennings. But Jennings may have stepped out of bounds. And we've got our first timeout. Red Raiders have doubled up UTA in the early going. There's Ju uh, Joe Toussaint on the move. They have each scored in the ball game. have four of the Red Raiders' ten here in the early going. UTA basketball as we get back to play. The Red Raiders have Toussaint, Isaacs, Warren Washington, Lamar Washington, and Kerwin Walton on the floor. That's Walton defending Gordon, who came to the UTA program from New Mexico State, also played at Kansas State, as mentioned. And right there, Makai Williams, three ball from the corner. Yeah, Makai Williams, it's his second... Uh Attempt from the corner right there knocks that one down, but yeah, he's looking looking to score from deep Washington's pass tipped away by Aaron cash and stolen by the Mavs Gordon may have stepped out of bounds in front of the Red Raider bench and he did That's the uh, reason for the one o'clock tip though. I think is you try to give your 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 team uh, You know a few extra hours to get out of town and get some family time But again business to tend to first and there's a turnover right there, but yeah, you wanted a fast start and Right now UTA hanging in there chance McMillan's pass was taken away UTA cannot convert and Joe Toussaint will set up the Red Raider offense Size advantage inside with a seven-footer Washington. Here's Chance McMillan wide open three and he hit it Got the look he wanted Warren Washington does a great job of understanding a double teams come and finds the open man Passes out of it. Chance McMillan wide open knocks it down His 20th three-pointer of the season and The Red Raiders lead by five Cash trying to work the baseline got all tied up by Kerwin Walton and is called for traveling Red Raiders as a team and Here's a look right there. You see the double team Warren Washington all seven foot jumps out of it finds a open chance with Millen Take it 34% on the three balls this season one of two in this ball game. There's Washington again. Kerwin Walton can knock it down long range. Doesn't get it there. But Lamar Washington had the rebound and taken away from him trying to go up and shoot. Philip Russell, the guy that knocked it away. Wilson trying to get inside against Warren Washington. There's Russell's long range shot. Not good. And a whistle and a foul inside on Cash. Talked about that rebounding battle. Warren Washington can have his hands full, so will Darion Williams. Grant McCaslin's team who's not in the game right now, but you know, Wilson and Gordon nearly average 20 rebounds a game combined, which is, and, and you're talking about 6'5 and 6'9 right there, so you've got one of your kind of forwards right there as a big time rebound. Oh, Washington with a nice jumper from the elbow. UTA averaging about 40 rebounds a ball game, two more than the Red Raiders. Keeley Vining nearly threw it away. Gordon saved it. Here's Wilson trying to back down Lamar Washington or Warren Washington. Russell, who had those 28 against Air Force, off the mark there. Cash had his hand on the ball, but couldn't get it over the back of Kerwin Walton, and the basketball belongs to the Red Raiders. Kerwin Walton with the block out. Low man wins. Mr. Harris. That won't show up in the stats, but he got the Red Raiders a possession. He says, keep the change, you filthy animal. <laughs> Christmas movies on all the time right there. We got basketball going. Kerwin Walton's blocking out. It's a good, uh, good little... 
day sports, man. What you're saying is Aaron Cash wasn't sticky like the sticky <laughs> bandits. Couldn't hang on to that ball. Yeah, the wet bandits, sticky bandits, <laughs> something like that. That's right. Washington it close, and it doesn't go. Russell in the corner got Darian Williams in the air and stepped around him and knocked down the shot. Yeah, Russell had those four threes versus the Air Force Falcons on Saturday. And again, was not necessarily expecting to play this season, but Coach Turner said, you know, to credit to him, he was he, he kept himself ready. He's still not in game shape, but hard to replicate that, but he stayed ready and Missed their first nine games. Five on a shot clock. Toussaint straight on. Three not there. Pulled down by Gordon, but a court ruling has turned into a godsend for a number of multiple time transfers. They are immediately eligible here in the uh, what will be moving on into the spring. Pop Isaacs got the breakaway and the Red Raiders lead by seven. But this is a guy in. Philip Russell, who I mean, it was thought to be, you know, just a guy that they were going to wait on until next year. Recruited him under that set of circumstances, and then you've got uh, one of your best players in the team, a guy that changes the dynamic of your team immediately. Pop Isaacs again steals, assists, just doing all kinds of things. Really growing up and maturing as a basketball player, big time alley hoop right there. To Chance McMillan in the neon green Grinch colored shoes, maybe we're gonna go with that. Gotta be the shoes okay. way up there. Vining's three rattles around and drops in. But Russell, who led the Ohio Valley Conference in points and assists as a freshman and has scored more than a thousand points, is the guy eligible for UTA and he made a huge difference in his first game, clearly. Whack newcomer of the week with those 28 points. There's Warren Washington inside. Another great look by a Red Raider teammate. Yeah, that's a mismatch. Underneath Marion Williams with his with the assist finds Warren Washington. Russell trying to guard him. Bit of a height advantage for Warren Washington right there, trying to go up and get that one. Pop Isaacs though inside where. Sherman Wilson able to turn and score a Shamar rather 6-9 over the Red Raider guard yeah, Grant McCaus is going to call timeout I, I think you, you feel good about things but five turnovers for Texas Tech early look at that alley-oop right there Big Warren Washington hanging from the rim 21-15 Texas Tech I took them. He almost fouls out of that game versus Air Force had the four personal fouls But the yeah, four of nine from deep got the free throw line knocked down six of seven there But uh, yeah, very impressive and a big reason why these Mavericks beat those Air Force Falcons Yeah, we're no legal experts, but a 14-day temporary restraining order was turned into a preliminary injunction and That is uh, through the end of the 2024 spring championship season allowing immediate eligibility to all multiple time transfers Joe Toussaint has transferred a time or two, and the Red Raiders are glad he's wearing the red and black. And step back three from the perimeter. Red Raiders now by nine, taken away from UTA. That's yeah, what Coach Turner, a, we, we think our team is tough. Our kids are aggressive. But sometimes that aggressiveness, you know, right there, just an unforced area. You just feed the ball to the post right there. But Robert Jennings is the one catching it. He's got a, he's got the wrong color jersey on at the other end of the floor. And so, you you know, live with some of those turnovers at times because of the aggressiveness. But trying to clean up some of those unforced ones. Two team fouls on the Mavericks. Red Raiders have not committed a foul yet. Pop Isaacs off the bench. After that foul, left it, tried to leave it for Jennings and had it taken away by Cash. Red Raider turnover. There's the young guy, Kate Douglas, true freshman in the corner in front of that Red Raider bench. 
Instant offense. 52 out of his 56 attempts, I believe, this year, I think that's right, uh, are three-point attempts. Yeah, I think you know what he's going to do when he's in the ballgame. Kerwin Walton can do it, too, but can't answer. And Wilson able to battle Jennings for the loose basketball. Now Douglas played high school basketball for his father at Lancaster. Outstanding shooter. Quick trigger missed that time. Here come the Red Raiders. Kerwin Walton's up ahead, but stepped out of bounds on that long pass from Op Isaacs. Timeout though, as we are under eight minutes here in Lubbock, Red Raiders leading by six, 24 18 over UTA. Joe Toussaint, Warren Washington, you will probably try to, you would think, replace those uh, those guys when they when they graduate with more experience in portal additions but that's the the way of the world in college athletics these days john yeah you touched on it no devon cambridge for the remainder of the season a knee injury suffered in that game against omaha uta today playing without one of their starters brandon talbot is out it started every game this season Binding on the drive inside. Wilson got the rebound, kicked it out. Here's Kate Douglas, the young guy. Corner, though, binding again, and he got it. Another three for UTA. It's their fifth of the game. And that's why this game is close. You're dominating if you're Texas Tech in the paint. It's 16-4 to four in that stat category, but uh, five threes to just two for Texas Tech. Big reason why this is just a three-point game. Red Raiders two of six. UTA five of 12 on the long ball. Bob Isaacs had that ball knocked away by Cash, a former Texas A&M Aggie. Russell came to these guys from Southeast Missouri. Dejuan Gordon at Kansas State, Missouri, and New Mexico State. It is fascinating when you look at rosters, how many different places guys have played, you know, previously. You're like, ah. I think I recognize, you know, I mean, like the Deshaun Gordon, a prime example, uh, has played in this building for Kansas State previously. It had faced the Red Raiders three times before today, had 15 points in those three games. As five today, Washington's long arm swatted that pass away. Lamar Washington had it knocked away as well. Kate Douglas, young freshman, stolen away. Is a bit frantic. It is frantic. And guys are playing like they're late to the airport. A little sloppy uh, at times with the turnover. But Mar Washington says, okay, yeah, I, I turned it over, but I'm going to go get it back. Toussaint's shot blocked by Shamar Wilson. And Douglas has an unlimited range, and that rattled out. Yeah, you give him too many open looks, you will pay for it. He can really rattle them off. I think that's what Texas Tech is trying to do, not settle, trying to really drive the Mavericks and, and you know, get into the paint, put pressure on the rim, things like that. Right now, the Mavericks, though, shooting in so well from deep with some good looks. Lucky that that one, last one from Douglas rattles in and out if you're Texas Tech. Three team fouls now on UTA, none by the Red Raiders. Walton, who has just been absolutely on fire coming into this ball game, and from the three-point range, Darion Williams, kind of sneaky out there, Chris, but knocked it down. Pulls down the rebound. He's had three double doubles already this season. Six-six, two hundred ten under, who came to the Red Raiders from Nevada. out of his hands and he kicked it out of bounds UTA down by six has the ball <laughs> KT Turner all the way across the midcourt line he talking was. to his team fired up after that uh, that steal right there by his team Russell's three on the way not good hit one early but it was Darion Williams pulling it down 
Pop Isaacs off the front of the rim. Inside Karoma began his career playing for Rick Patino at Iona. Scores. It's a four point game. And the transition defense. TA really getting the ball up the floor in a hurry. And a lot of those looks they're getting have been three point looks, but that one into the paint. Easy bucket. Cuts to four. Playing like that shot clock is set at about 15 seconds. <laughs> Trying to. That gets you in trouble at times, but. Toussaint's not there. Bit long. Jennings the rebound. But his outlet pass slapped away by Cash, and he controls it until he does not control it. Timeout here in Lubbock, 3.55 remaining in the first half. Red Raider lead down to four. T.A. hanging in there, but you're going to clean it up and play a little more disciplined if you're if you're either team, really. But if, uh, that's, that's exactly what Coach McCaslin, I'm guessing, is going to tell his guys at the halftime break. 9 of 23 for UTA off Red Raider turnovers. Tech committed 12 in that win over Vanderbilt last time out. Here's Chance McMillan. Three not there, but a whistle and a foul underneath. Yeah, that's the thing about it. Kate Douglas in there trying to rebound. Although Philip Russell uh, with the call. got whistled for that four team fouls now on UTA. None on the Red Raiders. TA with a smaller lineup out there trying to match up. Russell again right there trying to impede the progress of Joe Toussaint and Russell may head to the bench now after two quick fouls. That's big right there for the Mavericks. And again, nearly fouled out of that game versus Air Force on Saturday. You know, finished the game with four personals. He's got one bucket in the ball game. A couple of points, but 0 for 4 long range. Toussaint over the long arms of Cash, and he banks it in. That right there reminds you of former Red Raider Keenan Evans, the way he plays the pick and roll right there. Just Joe Toussaint just feels the leverage and uses the, the defender against him and finishes with the ball way out away from his body. Jay Douglas with the miss. Demarion Williams had the ball in his hands and got it stripped away by Gordon. Gordon whistled for the foul. Here's that nice play again. Man. He gets the defender on his back and then just speeds up, playing at different speeds, and just finishes way out from uh, his body right there. It's just a big time finish right there. In pick and roll, it's the simplest thing in basketball, and it's impossible at times to defend if you've got somebody that knows what they're doing with the ball in their hands. Comparisons to Keenan Evans. That's and that's high praise. Yes, it but is. That's how he played that pick and roll in this program about four or five seasons ago. The lead eight year for the Red Raiders. The Raiders worked out around to Kerwin Walton, who thought about a three, drove inside and can't finish. He's finding now. Gordon up and under, not there. Warren Washington quickly to Kerwin. Will slow things down. Kerwin Walton finding out what life is like when you're, there's a 62% <laughs> next to your name on a scouting report. He's not getting any clean looks at all. Did a good job previously putting the ball on the floor and trying to create. Chance McMillan's three a little bit short. Walton ran it down. That's the hustle play that Grant McCaslin will like. Gives the Red Raiders another 20 on that shot clock. And Joe Toussaint from way out there. Three-pointer. Red Raiders now by nine. The second gives him ten for the game. First into double figures. Toussaint has been in double figures in all but one game this season for the Red Raiders. Oh, and he gets called for the block. Got called for the block defending Makai Williams. Here it is. Chris, yeah. move moving a bit, maybe. <laughs> well, yeah. Joe was signaling charge. Yes, but, he was, but did not get it. Yeah, Coach 
Coach McCaslin asking for an explanation there, trying to figure out. Uh, and, and those block charges, that's been an emphasis and kind of changed the tweak. But that one was way out top of the key. Williams off the mark. Here's Toussaint again. Darian Williams got it. Back to back threes for the Red Raiders. Toussaint, Darion Williams. Get your lead to 12. Fabio Basili in the ball game for UTA. Floater not there. Wilson the rebound and Warren Washington can't prevent him from going back up and scoring. Red Raider lead is 10 with less than a minute to go here in the first half. Ten to shoot. Darion Williams going to try to get inside. His pass deflected, but Warren Washington has it and rams it home for the Red Raiders. KT Turner wants a timeout with 29 seconds remaining here in the first half. And the Red Raiders, back. neither team in this first half has been to the free throw line. And Grant McCaslin talking to his Red Raider team to not put somebody on the line here late in this first half. Bob Isaac's going to make Philip Russell pick up the basketball. And his pass dividing right through his hands and out of bounds. 11 turnovers for UTA here in this first half. Russell will sit down. Makai Williams back on for the final 24 seconds. And Joe Toussaint is in no hurry. Williams defending a freshman, Pop Isaacs, thought about it, on the drive, lays it up, and got it, Pop Isaacs for the Red Raiders at six, and the Red Raiders will go to the locker room with a 14-point lead here at halftime, 39-25 over UT Ames for the Red Raiders. Philip Russell's 28 against Air Force in his first game draws a bit of attention as well, and so we'll see. Red Raiders 10 assists and 10 turnovers in that first half. And it will be the Red Raiders basketball to start here. Bob Isaacs got it to start the second half. Boy, and that is a tough shot. You know, coming from inside the paint, you know, you, you get it on the dribble handoff and kind of come flying out and your momentum's going the other way. Barry's the three. Big time shot by Pop Isaacs. Pop has nine now. Gordon shot off the mark. Toussaint had the ball slapped away. A Red Raider turnover. The Mavericks going to get to the other end and Warren Washington will not let Russell score. Here's Pop. Thought about passing to Kerwin Walton who gets fouled inside by Karoma. And you get a lot going on there that uh First 40 seconds. It has not slowed down at all. Yeah, Pop Isaacs was trying to. He was trying to give it and then get it back uh, for another three-point shot. Kerwin Walton just couldn't corral it. How about that block by Warren Washington? Two-handed block on the other end of the floor. Pop hit a three a moment ago. Misses there, but the hustle by Darion Williams got it back. Pop's got nine points in the ball game. Toussaint, ten on that shot. Off the mark, tipped out of bounds by the Red Raiders. Yeah, you get a clean look, though. That, that's what UTA has continued to do is double the post. Darion Williams, Warren Washington, when they get the ball in the paint, the second defender is coming, and those, those three-point looks are open. If you can find the open man, just could knock it down there. Warren Washington, six in that first half to go with five rebounds. Kai Williams could not get inside against Kerwin Walton. Now into the corner. Shamar Wilson just put his shoulder right into Warren Washington to push him out of the way, but could not finish. Pop 
One for three on the long ball here in the second half. Red Raiders, though, lead by 17. Russell. Short. And Toussaint whistled for the foul, trying to rip that ball away from Dwayne Caroma. You're up 17 if you're, if you're Texas Tech. And now, now this is where you, you, you learn a lot about your team, how mature you are. You know, Coach McCaslin talked to us about that, you know, leading into this game. There's so many distractions. It's all about urgency and practices leading up to it. And you, you've done all the work to get a 17-point lead. Now what can you do? Can you maintain? Do you give it back? Got to clean it up from the, the turnover category. Finding give and go. Wilson laid it up and got it. Chance McMillan and Robert Jennings off the Red Raider bench. Son saw an opening six to shoot. Pop Isaacs in close. Floater doesn't go. And UTA with the rebound. Just can't get it to finish. Well, and if, if you think, you know, it's obviously holiday season. Drive right there by Philip Russell. Gets it to the lane. You know, holiday season, sitting on Santa's lap. Boy, if you're Texas Tech, the one thing you would ask Santa Claus for is continue to be undefeated at home. You, know, you remember the, that season here two seasons ago, 18 and 0 home schedule. I mean, it, it puts you in such a great spot to contend for a conference championship. Chance McMillan buries the three from the wing right there, but you know these games around the holidays are a bit tricky. Not not a lot of students here, but it, it, this building has become a weapon if you can uh, if, if you can use it and play to it a bit. So far for Grant McCaslin in year one. This team has done that, trying to continue that here today. Well, you mentioned that 18-0 season, the Red Raiders a year ago, and there's Robert Jennings slamming it home and to go to the free throw line. But the Red Raiders average more than 13,000 fans for games here a year ago. And it wears on teams, you know, and, and sometimes, you know, San Jose State in this building earlier this season, they hung in there for about 35, 36 minutes. Watch this pass right here. By Darion Williams, bounce pass across the court. Robert Jennings is like, look what I found. No lump of coal in my stocking. Red Raiders this year, a bit below those numbers, but still more than 11,000 a game. Yeah, and you know, obviously the conference play around the corner. You get games versus Oklahoma State and Kansas State here to open up the conference schedule. And you're going to get to play Texas A&M here next year. That's right. Yeah, it was announced this week. I mean, the Friday after Thanksgiving. Yeah. It'll be a fun uh, weekend for some Texas Tech athletics. Next holiday season to get the holidays going late in November. Joe Toussaint called for that foul against Russell, who will make the first trip to the free throw line for... The Mavericks. And again, Robert Jennings on your bingo card for first attempted free throw in this game. <laughs> you would have won a second ago. And, <laughs> and if you said it would occur in the second half. That's right. You, you, you get double double the points right there. You knew Philip Russell would try to try to get going offensively. He was six of seven at the free throw line in his debut against Air Force. Got them both here. Guy scored more than 20 points 11 times last year at Southeast Missouri State and had a couple of games where he scored 37. So he can't line it up. Pop Isaacs can too. Pop wanted the foul but didn't get it. Big time drive. Quick first step. Got right to the basket. Finished off the glass with Pop Isaacs. Pop has 11 now in double figures. And Pop is, Pop is going to argue that call. Here's that drive a moment ago. Red Raiders by 19 with Christmas. I think the young people would say that, that kid had some drip. <laughs> Lots of the headband, had some jewelry rolling. <laughs> yeah. All right. 
Philip Russell was here a moment ago back at the line and misses has six points now two of ten from the field he's 0 of five on three pointers at four against Air Force in his debut he was fouled by Isaacs on a three-point attempt Got two out of three. Lamar Washington, Chance McMillan in for the Red Raiders. Along with Pop Isaacs, Kerwin Walton, and Warren Washington. And Chris Pressure in the backcourt by the Mavericks. And Chance McMillan splits the double team. Break the press. Get into your, your set right here. McMillan's got a look, and he got it. Long range for Chance McMillan. He's the Red Raiders top scorer with 13. Yeah, and he's you know a career 40% three-point shooter coming into the season. He's maintained that percentage Had eight in a game versus Butler this year from deep uh, He is shooting it well today. and Boy, this is a heat check right there And that's where <laughs> You, your coach says no, 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 and if it goes in, uh, they they give you a high five. If not, they say, "Hey, man, let's not do that." <laughs> Red Raiders have a twenty-point lead. Shot that one in a hurry. And Lamar Washington was called for a foul, fighting for the rebound. There's Russell trying to get around Pop Isaacs into the corner to Vining, and he's got a three. Vining's got nine points now. That right corner for the Mavericks have been, has been really good to him today. A couple makes in the first half. Vining with that one. Everything from Vining, a three-point shot. Pop gets around the big man, laid it up, not there. And Wilson pulled it down. Russell way off balance. Somebody whistled for a foul, Walton. Well, the whistle's a bit late, and it, it's an awkward shot attempt. Yeah, let's see here. Philip Russell comes off the other. It's going to have to be. Ah, that's a, that's a tricky one. The crowd obviously doesn't like it. But, and I think the timing of the whistle would be your issue there. But it may have gotten him on the wrist, but it's on the way up. But... I think that uh, the initial delay is what maybe causes the reaction from the crowd. Darren George, Chance Moore, and Christopher Merlo are the officials today. Yeah, really good crew. Darren George, Chance Moore have been in this building many, many times. Both do a really good job. Russell now six of seven at the free throw line and ten points. And he's got eight of those here in the second half. You knew he would really try to get himself going, get his team back into the game, cut it to uh, leads him down to 15. Only outscored the Mavericks if you're Texas Tech by one point here in the second half. Washington trying to fight his way inside. Off balance shot. Red Raiders wanted goaltending. Somebody's hand was in that net, but no call. Finding another three. Got it. Yeah, timeout for Texas Tech. And again, second chance opportunity right there. But Binding knocks it down from three. Mavericks are still in this one, John. Binding's got he is just two of twelve from the field and 0 of seven. From behind the arc, but he's manufactured offense by getting to the free throw line. Six of seven. He's being aggressive in this full court pressure. UTA is continued to employ. Trying to steal some extra possessions or slow Texas Tech down in transition. Scoring some full court man here. Jay Douglas just hanging on to Pop Isaacs, but the Red Raiders do get the ball inbounded. Now they'll back away. Red Raiders.
Red Raiders are going to be off for a week before they play again after today's game. Pop Isaacs had the right idea, but pass taken away. Another Red Raider turnover. That's their 12th. Just above their season average, Cade Douglas. Absolutely quick trigger. And he got it from way out front. Well, that, that's just, I mean, you, 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 you semi have a hand up, but he's on the logo of the arena floor uh, when, he, when he pulls the trigger from there. And uh, that's just deep, deep range. Isaac's got around Karoma. Shot blocked inside by Wilson. Mavericks are going to run. There's Philip Russell up and under. Not there. Darion Williams gets his seventh rebound, and he threw it over the head of Toussaint, who's going to try and save it, but he's out of bounds. Yep, you're trying to throw the the deep ball right there, the post pattern, and just put a little too much uh, too much on it. But we're throwing that pass. Yeah, you you had a 20 point lead in yep. this game. 15 27 left and all of a sudden this is a, an 11 0 run is really you know it's made this game quite interesting single digits now well douglas will shoot it there he's wide open off the mark saved back into russell cash floater off the glass and it went in 13 0 run now and again, the aggressiveness of UTA is what makes you nervous because sometimes, again, it works against them. Right now, it's all paying off. They've applied the full court pressure there back into this game. It's a seven-point lead for Texas Tech. Red Raiders have not scored in more than three minutes. Here's Toussaint. He got it. Got inside to score. And I'm... Kate Douglas hit the floor hard. Looked a little shaken. His, one of his teammates picked him up. So he could run down to the other end. <laughs> Bizarre there. He, he was going to still be laying there if his teammate doesn't pick him up. I'm not sure. Looked like it. Russell's shot not good. Fight underneath. Darion Williams had it. And Douglas is the guy that knocked it out of his hands out of bounds. But the ball belongs to the Red Raiders who have a nine-point lead. But a 13-2 run by UT. by the Red Raiders who have hit at least nine threes in five of their ten games this season. Yeah, you know, if you look at the free throw attempts, I mean, how many games have you played at home over the years where you attempted one free throw in the first 30 minutes? Yeah, that was Robert Jennings. Yeah, and it's, so that, that's got to be a part of the... Is to get downhill and use the home court advantage against you know or in your favor There's been times when You, you certainly uh, you know make more than the other team attempts, but you're not even any more close to that Chance McMillan's three off the back iron not there Taken away by finding here's Douglas Now Russell Erwin Walton has not scored in this game. Defending Russell here on the drive. Got him in the air, threw it away. Here's Joe Toussaint for the Red Raiders. Douglas just hammered him going in. Absolutely hammered the Red Raider guard. John, they may look at this. There's a technical foul on somebody. But they may look at this. You know, Texas Tech's been from behind. So Toussaint, who is one of the top free throw shooters in all of the Big 12, in fact, second in the league, you know, and, well, and will John, be there. Our view of it, it we're, we're seeing the backs of these players. I mean, Toussaint's back to us. Kate Douglas comes in front of the free throws knocked in. So we can't really see, we did see it live whenever, you know, the, the play is made either on or not on the ball. And I think they, they deemed it after several reviews that... Uh, but it wasn't a legitimate play on the ball, and I think the, the word there excessive Because you could tell Kate Douglas came in there with a little uh, little extra on yeah. that one But uh, again, it's it's a bang-bang call and he's trying to prevent an and one and Joe Toussaint doesn't like the extra because he's up in the air and I get it Philip Russell for UTA will shoot at the other end now seven of eight at the free throw line all of that in the second half eight of nine so essentially just trade some free throws here 
In fact, all of UTA's free throw shooting has been by Philip Russell. Yeah, eight of nine. And, and ultimately, Texas Tech loses on that because Joe Toussaint picks up his third personal foul, John. Yeah. Toussaint not going to let Douglas take a shot. Hops almost knocked it out of the hands of Russell. He did, but Russell got it back. Shamar Wilson, left-handed hook, and he got it. Kind of roll a right-hander, though. Rolled around a bit and goes in. UTA hanging around at seven-point deficit. And if, you're, if you're Coach Turner, you're just trying to keep your team within striking distance. They are well within that right now. Ten to go in this game, a little over ten minutes. And down seven, they're right where they want to be. Playing scrappy. Jamarian Williams looked away. Russell took the ball away from him. And here's Douglas. And now, Philip Russell may have tripped Jamarian Williams, who was trying to get up. KT Turner did not like a call. And there's an argument on the floor with Russell and one of the well, officials. KT Turner has also been uh, assessed a technical foul. KT Turner, Darren George did not like Coach Turner being across half court automatically, you know, doesn't uh, doesn't like where he's at way out of the coach's box And, and there was uh, you could start to see Demarion trying to get up after that play And it looked like Russell may have grabbed onto him, but we've seen Turner across midcourt in the ball game earlier but that time under that circumstance and the officials will go back to the replay board yeah, it, it, it may end up being offsetting technicals with, on the two players. However, you, you're not taking away the technical on, on KT Turner, uh, who was across half court, did not like the what was going on on the floor. The pace of this game has slowed down after a first half in which neither team went to the free throw line. Yeah, but it's, now, uh, now it has uh, it slowed has considerably. gotten spicy. <laughs> yes, it yeah. has. <laughs> Some extra gravy on that uh, that turkey dressing. Yeah, oh, uh, but man. Yeah, guys end up on the floor, but coaches end up across the midcourt line. Here it is again. Mari Williams just had it taken away by Russell, then in the scuffle to try and get the ball back. So he gets up right there, and it looks like Russell tripped him. Turner there is not happy. He's across midcourt. He's standing next to Grant McCaslin well, at the end of that play. And you'll see Darion Williams when he stands up. He kind of there, there's there's a you know uh, a slight. You may see it right here when he stands up. Yeah, he just the one hand down. It, it, I don't know if there's a whole lot there, but I think maybe. You know, the, the Maverick on the floor did not care for the extra. Well, and uh, neither yeah, did so neither did Joe Toussaint. That's right. They, they may be uh, they may deem this offsetting, but again, if if it, if it is, uh, the Red Raiders are still shooting free throws here because of the technical foul on Casey Turner. Turner looking down that direction as Darren George reviews the play. This UTA team has already played a couple of games in their conference in the WAC. They beat Abilene Christian, but lost to the favorite Grand Canyon. We will try to keep up whenever we get an explanation on this one, because they may have a lot to tell us. <laughs> it's just... Uh... You know, this is the seventh all-time meeting between these two teams. The Red Raiders have won them all that first game back in 1968 went to overtime yeah, And you you know these teams haven't played against each other what since 2010 yeah, last that's the yeah. last time out. Yeah Okay, we uh, officials have quit uh, they, have, they are done reviewing There's the consultation right there and Well, we get here continues continues on, but UTA has outscored Texas Tech 25 to 18 here in the second half. Uh, you were up 20 if you're Texas Tech with 15 27, 
left in the half, and now, yeah, now the crowd getting a bit antsy. So let's see uh, what kind of explanation we get. Looks like maybe somebody is about to head our way. They want to get it right for sure. And Chris will get another explanation. This may take a while, longer than his Christmas list. <laughs> so at least a flagrant foul called on Philip Russell. And we'll find out the rest of that. Texas Tech is going to wind up with basketball eventually. Chris, the rest of the details. They're going to call a flagrant foul on, I believe he told me, UTA number one, which would be Philip Russell. Um, and then you're also going to get free throws uh, it, because of the technical foul on KT Turner. So, and you're going to get the ball. So if, if, if it plays out the way it was just described to me, I believe you're getting... Uh, four free throw attempts and and possession of the basketball. So KT Turner probably not going to be pleased with with that turnout. If that is if that's the way this plays out, Darion Williams will go to the free throw line for the Red Raiders. He's 17 of 20 on the year, and he is the guy that Philip Russell grabbed onto after UTA had gotten the basketball and he was trying to get back down the floor. Again, Philip Russell is he plays with some an edge to him at those four, four personal fouls against their force, but he also I think was involved in the in I don't know, not altercation, but there was a technical foul in a play that he was involved with uh, that game, you know, versus the Falcons. The free throws continue to get made here by Texas Tech. They cut into that. Well, or add to that lead, I should say. And Tucson misses one there, and then the uh, Raider basketball here. So, well, that, that marked that down on kind of a seven point lead, but you end up with three made free throws and the basketball with 9.53 left after, <laughs> yeah, after bodies all, hit the floor, right? After all of that, Red Raiders, if they score here, could turn this into a five or six point play. Here's Pop Isaacs, long three on the way from Pop, not there. Toussaint kind of saves the basketball. 20 more seconds, Pop inside, laid a couple in good. Pop Isaacs has 13. Got a great alley right there. And Toussaint leading the Red Raiders with 15. Pop Isaacs and Chance McMillan have 13. Darion Williams has 10. It's a 12 point advantage for the Red Raiders. Yeah, this game will be called a bit tighter down the stretch with as chippy as it's gotten. Officials don't want to let that get out of hand. Done a good job so far. Jay Douglas with a rare shot inside the arc. The running bank shot and it goes in. Yeah, fades away with the finish off the glass. Here's McMillan defended by the 6-9 Wilson out front. Red Raiders have nine to shoot. Toussaint, Chance McMillan's open now. In the lane. Jumper. Little strong on that. Finding got it. Here's Russell. Oh, he went right around Pop Isaacs. Kicked it to Douglas in the corner. That's what he does. Three is in and out. Back to that up and down pace. Pop Isaacs three on the way. Off the mark. Darion Williams, the rebound. Left-hander not there. Warren Washington can't score in close either, but he got the ball back. When you live to tell about it, there's a rare pass over the basket <laughs> to the opposite corner. Yeah. Now Toussaint at the free throw line. Not there. Cash got it for UTA. Both sides now gassed. 62-52. Still nearly eight minutes to play. Binding going to drive inside. Wanted to leave it for Wilson, but slapped away by the Red Raiders. Three on two. Toussaint powers it up, and he's fouled. Aaron Cash will be whistled for that foul. 7.36 left to go here in Lubbock. Red Raiders have pushed the lead back up to 10. 
uh, playing some good basketball. And you mentioned that a while ago. Kerwin Walton has not provided that today. But that's something that, uh, you know, you knew, you wondered if it would cool off or matter of time maybe. But uh, it, it's Chance McMillan and uh, the, the the two starters from the guard standpoint have certainly picked up the slack. Toussaint now is 16. There are four Red Raiders in double figures. Darion Williams, the other, who is closing in on another double-double with 10 points and eight rebounds. Walton, the only player who's played in this game for Texas Tech that has not tallied. And yet again, they, the scouting report pretty clear. Don't give him any any looks at all. He just hadn't had a lot of extra room at all when he catches it. Here's Dejuan Gordon back into the ball game for UTA. Have not seen him for a while. That ball out of bounds underneath the UTA basket still will belong to them. Russell will trigger it inbound to Dejuan Gordon. Gordon, it was Kerwin Walton trying to defend and Gordon scores. Gordon had five in the first half, seven points now, and the lead back to ten. Red Raiders spread it out. Toussaint gets around the corner. Might have been goaltending, but not called. Wilson slapped it down, finding all the way. Laid it up, not good, but Walton maybe whistled for the foul. Yeah, boy, that uh, we'll get a look right here at that goaltender or possibility. It's close. And that ball, really close. Thought that ball might have hit the backboard first. And here's a better view. Yeah. yeah. Maybe, I mean, maybe a clean block. That's, I mean, and you've got to finish that. Wilson had a double double for UTA last time out against Air Force. Not against Air Force, rather against New Mexico when he scored 29 points, but he's got four double doubles this year and nine and, in his career. John, you mentioned that UTA's in this weird dynamic. They've already played a couple of conference games. Yeah. Yeah. Grand Canyon. Just, uh, just one on the road in that one. I think that's coming for the Big 12 Conference next year as well when the conference schedule expands from 18 to 20 games you'll be playing conference games before the new year i mean that would be that that's going to be the regular occurrence i think which is uh, pretty fascinating and it cuts down on your non-conference schedule as well yeah Eight-point Red Raider lead. Here's Chance McMillan. Now five to shoot. Pop Isaacs threw it away. Wanted to get it to Damari and Williams. Up ahead now. And that is good. That's Dwayne Caroma for UTA. Eight-point game. Six-point game. Red Raiders just absolutely cannot put them away. Sixteen turnovers by Texas Tech. Well, and, and John, this is where KT Turner's team has got to see their confidence start to grow. Feeling good about where they're at in this game right there, except for you got to guard one Washington underneath. Darion Williams does a great job facilitating out of the post. But uh, I mean, all, all you, you can ask for if you're the Mavericks is to be within striking distance down the stretch. Eight now for the Red Raider big man with eight rebounds and an eight-point lead. Washington couldn't pull down the board, but he slaps that shot out of bounds from Shamar Wilson. There's that turnover by the Red Raiders. Pass ahead from Vining, I believe, and then laid in good. A nifty finish. There's the block shot right there. Long arms of Warren Washington. Came into the ball game with 12 blocks on the year. Wilson couldn't get the handle of the ball. Red Raiders have a three on one advantage, and Pop Isaac's shot blocked by Vining. Three on one, and Akili Vining makes the play. 
Boy, and you'd like to see if he gives this ball up that much quicker, makes the defender commit. I think he gets it back and he makes a layup. He just kept it and tried to finish it himself. He's got teammates on either side of him. Darion Williams going to work in the post. But I, I think if he initially gives the ball up, I think Chance McMillan running down the right side of the court, if he gives it up initially, that, that defender's got to commit. Pop Isaacs may have just finished with no uh, problem right there at the other end. He probably would have gotten it back. Yeah, just took the ball too deep and allowed the defender all of a sudden to be able to reach out and guard three people. Took it away from Pop. Now Damarian Williams at the line. Yeah, that's your goal on a fast break, man. You've got to make that defender commit as quickly as possible. The longer they can stay in it and, uh, and, and guard multiple uh, options, the better off they are. Damarian off the mark on his first attempt. is two for three at the line. Got the second now. 11 points for the Red Raiders. Sophomore from Sacramento, California. Counting down towards five minutes. The Red Raiders by nine. Russell turned the corner and lays it in. He's got 12 second half points in this game. You know, just three of 15 from the field, but those eight of nine you know, free throw makes certainly have helped out his team. Seven point lead for Texas Tech. Red Raiders have a mismatch inside with Warren Washington with the shot from the corner by Demarion Williams. Could not have come at a bigger time. He's got 14 in the ballgame. Tech by 10. And he's got eight rebounds and six assists to go with it, John. Good wind up with a triple-double the way this game has gone. Philip Russell hammered by Toussaint as he leaned into the Red Raider guard. Foul on Toussaint. And Russell on the deck. They bang oh, they, heads. They hit heads. Yeah, there's nothing malicious there, but they do. They hit each other in the head right there. Not sure that a whistle should have blown on that. That's just accidental contact. Yeah, I, th I think, yeah, you, that's, a, that's why he's reacting the way he is. But you're right, I'm not sure if there's a foul. And... And, and Russell did a good job of, uh, of selling it. The whack player of the week has some acting abilities as well. <laughs> but he'll be at the line, able to pull the Mavericks within eight if he can get them both. Cannot. Chance McMillan pulls down the missed free throw. Toussaint's got an opening inside. Got shoved in the back by Coroma. Still inside. Dribbles underneath the basket. Going to run some time off that shot clock, which is now at seven. Running jumper and Toussaint got it. Just like you draw it up, right? Yeah. I mean, dribble it around for 29 seconds, pull, pull up with a floater, <laughs> buried it. Vining lost his footing, and the Red Raiders lost the takeaway out of bounds. Under four minutes to go. Tech by 12 at 72-60, but this went a long way from being over. Yeah, how about the old Coach Turner? He's like, yeah, that's just all I want. Let me leave me alone. Let me watch some NBA on Christmas Day. And get a chance to decompress. He is a basketball junkie. Yeah. You know, just uh, spends a lot of time around the sport. Dad was a coach, just been around it all of his life. It's all he wants to do. Says it really dawned on him at the age of 14 that that's what he loved. Kate Douglas, long three. Not there. Over the back, though, I think, on Karoma. I think, not. I think they're maybe going to stay on Warren Washington. All right. And that'll put Shamar Wilson at the free throw line. And Warren Washington's first foul. In and out for UTA's big man. 
eight points, nine rebounds for him in this game. Here's Toussaint, defended by Cade Douglas. Darian Williams inside to Warren Washington. Here's Pop Isaacs alone outside the three-point line. And Pop gets a big one. 16 for Pop Isaacs. Well, it's all set up with the paint touches right there. You know, a little high-low, and you, you, you feed it out of the post, kick it out, and Pop Isaacs wide open. And that's typically where the most of the threes get made in games uh, is when you, you penetrate and kick. Warren Washington on the ground, boy, it's seen way too many people laying on the ground in this one. Everybody's trying to get out of here for the holidays, and uh, you have to keep helping people up. Officials keep coming over to talk to us. And Looks like people in line at the ticket counter at the airport. <laughs> That's right. The way this as, long as, you didn't, as long as you didn't leave your, your young son at home. <laughs> Raiders aren't going to let Douglas take that one in the corner. He'll have to come back up top to Vining. Yeah, there's nobody named Kevin in here, so I don't think anybody forgot. Spin move by Wilson over Washington, and it doesn't go. Under three minutes now in the Red Raiders by 15. Toussaint across the timeline. Gets around Douglas inside, got him on his hip, but the shot blocked by Wilson. Yeah, great help side defense right there as you come across the lane with the, the block, but they keep trying to get Joe Toussaint downhill, that left hand. But Shamar Wilson's long arms able to swat that one away. Came into this ball game with 47 career block shots. Here's Pop to Demarion. Gonna try to back down Cash. Jump hook. Too strong. Vining rebound. And he's waiting for the double team to show up. It doesn't, so he decides to initiate some offense with the hook shot. Vining threw it out of bounds. Russell over here on the right side. And Vining tried the no-look pass and threw it to fans in the front row. They were open. Yeah. It's a season of giving, right? He tried to double team pop, but he got it across the line. Here's Toussaint. Joe in no hurry to get rid of the basketball. On his pass, tipped away and stolen. Russell ahead to Vining. He's got Wilson there to block. Miss the dunk. Wilson runs it down. Back to Akili Vining. Going to try it a second time, this time off the glass. And it goes. 75-62. Here's Chance McMillan. His shot blocked. And Wilson can't run it down. He gets hung up on the seats on the front row. <laughs> Dangerous down there in the front row today. Suddenly you've got a player sitting and you fall from the ranks of the unbeaten, but the Cougars are still perfect at 11 and 0. The Red Raiders are going to inbound from a tough spot over in the corner, but do get it. To Pop Isaacs now to Sant with 135 remaining and a 13-point advantage. It has been a battle. Joe thought about a three, got a couple of guys in the air, and then fired it up there, but no whistle. Long pass to Russell, lays it in. Pop Isaacs couldn't stop him. Russell scores again. He's got 16. 75-64. Demarion Williams can't get the ball inbounded. And a foul away from him attempting to inbound the ball. May have been, Russell may have been hanging on. He certainly got his arms wrapped around Pop Isaac. That'll get a whistle and send Pop to the free throw line with 16 points. If, if he wasn't grabbing his jersey, he was thinking hard about it. Uh, and I think kind of doing it there. But the free throw in. Pop in the top 20 for Big 12 free throw shooting. And he will have to continue to be a scorer and a playmaker for this Texas Tech team. The calendar turns to 2024. 18 now for Pop. Joe Toussaint's got 19. 
Those are the two guys KT Turner was worried most about coming into the ball game, and they have done everything he expected. You, you like Coach Turner's team. He's you know, they played a really tough non-conference schedule. Well, you like where where they are headed. They are not intimidated. Lots of options to score, and the addition of Philip Russell has remade his team. They put a scare into the Red Raiders when they made a big run here in the second half. Pop Isaac's long-range shot off the mark. Douglas rebounded it. Less than 30 seconds remaining. Russell straight on, got it. 11-point tech advantage. Mario Williams trying to get the ball inbounds does to Pop Isaacs and UTA may back off. Well, no, they're not. Pop's going to have to dribble away from a double team. Not interested in shooting the basketball, but just trying to get away. Red Raiders are going to win it, go to 9-2 and two on the year. On a day when Joe Toussaint and Pop Isaacs lead the way with 19 and 18 points Chris yeah you had four and double figures I, I think Grant McCaslin's big takeaway was we've got to be better with the turnover